Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Encounter Kids. And now, here's your host, the charming Pastor Kate. Hi, Encounter Kids. It's Pastor Kate. I wanted to read you a special book today and have a little activity at the end. So why don't you go run and get a piece of paper and a marker, and we're going to do something at the end of this book. You can just pause the video while you go do that. Okay. You got your marker and paper? We're going to start reading. This is called The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. It says, one prayer can change everything. Do you know that's true? It's true. Okay, here we go. It had not rained in Israel for one entire year. No clouds in the sky. No water in the well. Gardens did not grow and rivers ran dry. Dust filled the air. The people were thirsty and scared. They pleaded with one voice, oh God, give us rain. But when God didn't answer right away, they lost faith. Our prayers are not working, the people said. God has forgotten us. Then they remembered something remembered someone, the Rainmaker. Over the years, the people had heard stories of a man whose prayers had gone straight to God's heart, opening up the heavens with rain. Honai was now an old man living on the outskirts of Jerusalem. The people knew that he was not, he was their last hope, their only hope. So they knocked on his door and the rainmaker emerged. Honai believed that even if people could not hear God, God could still hear them. Then he boldly declared, the same God who made the thunder will make it clap. The same God who made the clouds will make them rain. A parade of people led Honai to, into the city, to the Temple Mount, as the crowd grew, children climbed onto the shoulders of their fathers. Others stood on tiptoe to see what Honai would do. This is what happened. Honai bowed his head and extended his staff to the ground. What is he doing? The people wondered. Then Honai began to turn. He turned all the way around until he stood inside the circle he had drawn. Then, with the hope of an entire nation on his shoulders, Honai dropped to his knees and prayed. Sovereign Lord, I swear before your great name that I will not leave this circle until you send rain. Like water from a well, the words flowed from the depths of his soul. The people watched and waited. Then it happened. A single raindrop fell from the sky. Then another. The people turned their he heads heavenward. That is not enough water, they grumbled. So little rain is of no use to us. Still kneeling within the circle, Honai continued to pray to God with a humble heart. Not for such a rain have I prayed, but for rain that will fill cisterns, pits, and caverns. Lightning flashed and there was a clap of thunder. The sprinkle turned into such a downpour that the crowd feared for their lives and fled to higher ground to escape the flash floods. But Honai battled the storm on his knees and continued praying within his circle. Not for such rain have I prayed, but for rain of your favor, blessing and graciousness. Then, like a cool shower on a hot summer day, it began to rain calmly and peacefully. The people gathered together in celebration. They had witnessed a miracle. Parents opened their mouths to catch the falling raindrops. Children danced in the downpour like it was the first rainfall they had ever seen. Laughter filled the air. It was the day thunderclaps applauded God. It was the day puddle jumping became an act of praise. 
It was the day of the legend of the circle maker was born. The rainmaker would forever be known as Honai, the circle maker. The circle maker had taught the people the power of prayer. The people now understood that one prayer can change anything. One prayer can change everything. From that day forth, when people needed a miracle, they would draw a circle and pray just like Honai. They circled the sick, they circled the sad, they circled the young, they circled the old, they circled their biggest dreams, they circled their greatest fears, and most importantly, they circled the promises of God. Sometimes they had to pray for a long, long time, but they never again doubted the fact that God always hears. And if our prayers glorify God, God always answers. Everyone who witnessed the miracle that day learned a lesson they would never forget. God honors bold prayers because bold prayers honor God. The end. Isn't that a cool story? That is a true story. That really happened. So now if you have your paper and markers, I want you to draw circles on your paper. And I want you to put in those circles what you wanna pray for. Do you wanna pray for someone who's sick? Do you wanna pray for someone who needs a job or who's having a hard time? You can write their names or write the prayer for your family in the circle. <laughs> and then pray over it together as a family. And we'll see you next time, bye. Thanks for tuning in, boys and girls. See you next week.